In this video, I'm going to install OpenSUSE Leap version 15.6 in a virtual machine. So there's some options here to download. There's for Intel, there's for Power PC servers, there's UEFI, AM, 64-bit servers, desktop laptops, and for IBM Z systems. So I'm going to download the offline image, and this is for Intel. On the boot menu page, I'm going to choose installation. So this is a pop-up OpenSUSE beta distribution. You are installing the future OpenSUSE version, not the stable present one. I'm going to click OK. So this is the language keyboard and license agreement. You can change the language here, keyboard layout language. This is the agreement. I'll click Next. So this pop-up says activate online repositories now. I'm going to select yes. And here I can choose the online repositories. I can check or uncheck any one of these. I'm going to leave it as is. So this is writing list of online repositories. This is the system road page and here you can choose your desktop environment. This is KDE, this is GNOME, this is XFCE, generic desktop, this is server and transactional server. I'm going to choose KDE Plasma. I'll click next. So this is the suggested partitioning page and it says initial layout proposed with a default guided system settings. Changes to partitioning and there's guided setup and there's expert partitioner. I'm going to select guided setup. This is the partitioning scheme. I'm going to select enable logical volume management. There's also enable disk encryption. I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'll click next. This is the settings for the root LVM logical volume. Here you can choose your file system. And these are the options. I'm going to leave it at BTRFS. I'll leave this checked. Enable snapshots. So it says propose separate home LVM logical volume. You can check this and this is the file system type. I'm going to leave it at BTRFS and it says propose separate swap LVM logical volume. This is checked. I'm going to leave it as default. I'm going to leave this one unchecked. Enlarge to RAM size for suspend. I'll click next. So this is a summary of the suggested partitioning. I'll click next. Here you have to choose your time zone. So this is the region. This is the time zone. I'm in Eastern time zone, New York. There's also other settings. I'm going to click next. So I have to create an account here. I'll type John as the name. I'm going to leave the username as John. I'll type a password. And it says use this password for system administrator. I'm going to leave that checked. Automatic login. I'm going to leave that unchecked. And you can also skip user creation. I'll click next. So I typed in a short password. So I'm going to click yes to confirm. So this is the installation settings. And if any changes need to be made, you can always click on the back button here. I'll click install. And this is the confirmation installation. I'll click install. Okay, the system is going to reboot. Installation is complete.
So on the lower left side, there's also a desktop session. So I click on that and I have these options. I can choose any one of these, Plasma, Wayland, Ice WM Session, and Plasma X11. I'm gonna choose Plasma Wayland. I'll log in. So this is the startup page, and there's basics, and there's support. I'll close this. So I'll click on the application launcher. This is favorites. This is all applications. This is development, education, this is games, this is graphics, this is internet, this is multimedia, this is office, this is settings, this is system, This is utilities. This is lost and found. So I'll click on system settings. So on system settings, there's categories, there's appearance, workspace, personalization, network, hardware, and system administration. So this is the KDE Plasma version 5.27. This is the kernel version, the graphics platform. This is the system monitor. Applications, history, processes. This is tools. This is devices. This is CPU, firmware security. I'm going to right click the desktop, configure desktop on wallpaper. So this is the Discover Software Center. I'm going to install GIMP. I'm going to launch GIMP. This is the install section. This is settings. This is about. This is updates. I'll select update all. So this is the home folder. I'll right click the folder. And these are the menu options. These are some of the features of OpenSUSE Leap version 15.6. There's the cockpit package, container technologies, there's virtualization technologies, software upgrades, telecommunication software, KDE environment, there's GNOME version 45, audio technologies, Yes, transition to Python 3.11. I can also right click the desktop and I can select enter edit mode. I'll right click the desktop, select add widgets. I'll add a widget to the desktop just by dragging it.
I'll right click the clock and I'll remove it. So in this video I install OpenSUSE Leap version 15.6 in a virtual machine. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.